Hey everybody, Walker here. Welcome back to Create Above and Beyond. We started Chapter 4A. 4A? 4A. 4A, Chaotic Alchemy. Not really alchemy, but we started it last time, and, you know, I was a little tiny bit confused over a few of the things, but after reading through Ponder and some of the tooltips and some other stuff, JEI's info thingy, uh, it has become a slight little bit more clear to me. So, for example, to make this igneous catalyst, um, I ran through this really fast because I was running out of time, but let's go through a little more in detail. And this is the same information for everything that I've seen so far. Um, obtained by finding the correct combination of four igneous reagents with the alchemical laser. Okay, so four reagents. Uh, occupy the first four slots in the hopper cart with one igneous reagent each. Understandable. Run the alchemical laser on the contents and find either the igneous catalyst or a hint toward the correct combination. Fine. This is where I brazed over and didn't read. Note, correct combination may contain duplicates. And then the correct combination differs from world to world, so I can't just look it up. Um, optional, place redstone accelerator, glowstone accelerator in the fifth slot for additional hints. I don't think I'm going to do that unless I really start getting aggravated, but um, those are a little pricey. Uh, for whatever reason, even though it's a redstone accelerator, it uses signalum nuggets, and likewise on the glowstone, it's lumium nuggets. And I... I say for some reason, I know why, it's because they, they are, it's, yeah, anyway, um, that's how you make them, <laughs> with energized glowstone. So, anyway, uh, in here, we have a laser chamber, hopefully this will keep me from exploding myself, Oop, we got some snow left in here, uh, we also have a roof and a ceiling, as you can see, uh, some nice windows, we went and did a bunch of exploring. Boy, it's going to take a little second to refresh way up in here. And found a bunch of stuff. Not anything useful to us except for a bunch more lanterns. So that's great. So basically what we have here is this guy. No, nothing is running right now. But I do have a clutch on the bar here. I need to get another and a site to cover that shaft. Um, if I flip this switch, he will punch the laser, and hopefully that's far enough away from me that I won't get lasered as well. That was kind of scary. It took off quite a bit of my health bar. I think it was like four hearts. It's pretty bad. So pretty much what we need to do now is, <laughs> I thought it was just one of each in some combination, which made me a little concerned when I got three ash, because uh, that only left me three out of four that it could be, and that was not something that was possible. But now I know that it could be any combination of any of these, and that's a lot of different combinations. Luckily, obviously, we have hints to what it could be. So what I'm going to have to do is go through and do, like, four andesite reagents and see how many glowstone and how much ash I get, or redstone. Um... Of course, if it's four, I shouldn't get any redstone. I should just get ash or glowstone, one or the other. Uh, so what I think that's what I'm going to have to do is do four of that, four of that, four of that, four of that, until I get like, okay, well, it, it can only be two of that, or it can only be one of that, or it can't be any of that. Uh, so we're going to have to start doing that, right? Uh, we're going to start the factory up again. I'm going to keep this uh, just like what I have for now until I'm more comfortable with leaving this running all the time. But as you can see, if I flip this on, there it goes. Boom. So, what? Oh, and then finally, I've got myself a book to keep track of everything. So I know that those four give me three ash and one glowstone. So it's got to be one of those four in that slot. So if I get andesite for this, and it's in there, I don't, I don't know. All right, so let's go this. Okay. And then we laser. And then we laser it. Patow! And that gives us mundane alchemical blend. 
of andesite, 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 andesite. Place in centr centrifugal separator to analyze. So we come over to our centrifugal separator and we throw it in there and then we see what we get. And, you know, in a preferred world, it would be four glowstone and then we'd be done. Four ash. So we know it's not any andesite. So we can safely say um, no andesite, right? And because I'm going to keep good track of this, four andesite, four ash. All right, because I want to try and keep good track of this while I'm doing this, and it might be a little annoying, uh, but anyway, so that's that. All right, let's do four stone since I have the cobble to do it. Oh, uh, before I go too far, there's my bucket, but what I really want is a tank. So hopefully I have an empty tank, or a tank I can empty. Perfect. So now I should be able to just get a full tank of molten glass instead of having to go back and forth four times. And I'm probably going to forego piping anything in because... Ugh. And that just works fairly straightforward and easy. One, two, three, four. Let's start with four and see what we get. I also... Okay, so if I just do this... Perfect. So we're going to go four stone. Let's see what we get. Okay. I didn't have to put iron doors there. That's eh, mostly for show. Um, you know, it's a laser chamber. Uh, if we had the caution signs uh, from one of the create add-ons, I'd be throwing those all over the place too. Uh, just because it's funny. Alright, we can take the ash out. And now this is stone, stone, and stone, and stone. Stone, stone, and stone, and stone. Yeah, four stone. So let's see what we get. And, oh, okay, so more ash. So we know it's not stone. Okay. No andesite or stone. We can say 4x stone for ash. All right, well, I mean, that kind of limits that down to three or four other things. I have a bad feeling it's going to be basalt, which I don't have any of, so I'm going to have to make basalt. But let's start with granite and diorite and gabbro. And then we'll worry about the basalt. This is actually a little bit fun, though I wish I was smart enough to be able to automate uh, this whole thing. I'm not that smart. I, I'm, I'm pretty good, but I'm not smart enough to be able to go through and, like, automate the the whole process. It's just, that's too much. It's like a lot of if statements, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I'm sure someone has done it, and it works amazingly. That person is not me. All right, I might, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to. Um... Well, I, I was going to, but I don't have any stone on me, so. Uh, why didn't you fire off? Did I not give you enough time? There you go. Okay, I need to replace that. That's uh, just frustrating. All right, let's see what I have. Uh, uh, I don't see anything in there. Let's go and... 
have any like wood or anything up here. No. Here we go. We'll use you. This is just annoying. Oh, pushing that button is a pain in the butt. So we're going to do this instead. And I guess do that too. I'll feel a lot better doing it this way. Much better. Okay, so we'll take that out. Put the four Gabbro in. Flip the switch. Fairly confident it powed. Pew pewed. And put the four granite in. Pew pew. Perfect. Okay, so starting with, I guess, the diorite. This is exciting. I should put some speed ups in here, though, so this is a little faster. Four ash, no diorite. Oh gosh, this is not good. All right, we're gonna have to. Uh, let's see here. Uh, we need to. There. Okay. No andesite. Um, or stone. Or that was diorite, right? Shoot. Yeah, okay. Oh, I didn't hit the done button. No andesite. Or stone. Or diorite. And you know something? I, I think I can actually just... Um, get rid of these because I know it's not going to be any of those so I don't really care about that. So anisite, diorite, or stone which tells me granite must be in the third spot because if it's not any of these then it has to be granite. So um, solution we're going to say um unknown plus unknown plus granite plus unknown right because we know that stone diorite and andesite you just give four ash and if one of those was in the right slot it would give us a glowstone if it was in the wrong slot it would give us a redstone but because we're using four it can't be so it's got to be granite in the third slot okay and this should uh, confirm that. While we're here, let me see here. At thermal, what's a speed up? Process C, oh, ooh, okay. So now we know that granite actually occupies two different slots, okay? So that's awesome. So we're gonna say 2x granite. Um, okay, let's throw Gabbro in there, because we didn't do Gabbro at all, I don't think. And, oh god, I hope it's like two. Please give me two. Please give me two. Give me two. Aww. Alright, so now we know that it's granite and basalt in some some fashion so no gab gabbro yeah that works uh two times granite two times basalt okay um we don't need that anymore Okay, so two times granite, two times basalt, because those are the, the only. So we need to make basalt. Um, I'm gonna make an igneous extruder. 
I don't believe I've made one yet. And then we need to make blue ice and feed it lava and put soul soil in there. Uh, and that'll get us some basalt. I'm not going to do it this way. I'm going to do it this way. So I need a zinc machine, which I have, and I need a piston. I have a zinc machine back in the house. And a piston is not that difficult to make. Are you going backwards again? You better not be. Okay. It's exciting. I actually might get one of these done today. <laughs> it's great. Uh, a lot of these videos is going to be me going back and forth doing this, sadly. But there's... Uh, well, there you are. Zinc casing. Wait. Zinc? No. I need... Invar. Ah, uh, back out. Back out. Back in. Back out. Assault. 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 Yeah, I need a z No. It's a zinc machine? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. The igneous extruder is a zinc? You mean I could have made that all this time? Igneous. Well, shoot! But it also means I need those things, so... Ooh. Luckily, I went and got a bunch of lava. I don't think I have enough, but I got a bunch. Up we go. And there is some left over in there, so that's good. Oop. Uh, yeah. I guess I I just did I totally bombed on that. I thought that was a uh, Invar one for whatever reason. I wish that would stack automatically instead of you know sort of kind of. Oh, I hope I have enough lava. I wish these guys filled a little faster. I mean, it is my fault. I don't have that running very fast, but... Oh. Gotta get you rolling, too. Or else there won't be enough, uh, soul stuff. Yeah, there actually there isn't. I bombed on that, too. Uh, hmm. Well, there is only 11 charcoal left in that box, so. I need a way of turning this off. I need a way of turning pretty much all of this off. It's kind of sad. <laughs> um... Please have enough. Ah, <sighs> basalt. It had to have been that. And part of my, my trip going up north to look for stuff was to try and find a volcanic biome. Because uh, if I remember correctly, volcanoes have a lot of basalt around them. I was just going to collect, like, you know, 20 stacks worth and come back home and never have to deal with it again but apparently uh, the cards were not in my favor all right that's it but i did have enough barely but i should be able to make lava using this too if i remember right i also have to find some blue ice so hopefully i have some blue ice hanging around four of it uh well so here's the deal i know where the i know where one goes, but I don't know where all goes. Oh, I do need lava, though, for the... the 
process. So we gotta go and get some anyway. So I might as well just go and... I'm not gonna fill all of them up, because that'll take too long, but I'll fill some of them up. Like two. Doing it that way and just do it the normal way. Fill! Okay, and then we'll do one more. Uh, so, another thing that I did was as I was going north, I uh, activated a bunch of broken portals so we can see there's one right here in the center and one over here um, if I could get to those it would be awesome but mm, as you can hear ghasts are everywhere so not gonna happen just not going to happen Okay, so I need some blue ice, and I'm pretty sure I had some blue ice from somewhere. I'm not sure where I got it from, but... Uh, yeah, there's at least one. And I haven't really made too much progress on the buddy card front, but I'm working on it. I wish some enderlings would spawn. I might cheat and go into the config files and uh, force it uh, the spawn rate up a little bit. Recipe for blue ice is packed ice. Recipe for packed ice is regular ice. Recipe for regular ice is water in a blast chiller. Um, but I thought I saw something else. Use recipe Okay, we can do ice in a water bulk wash and get packed ice too. So there's all sorts of ways that we can do that. Frozen snowman drop. Interesting. Packed ice. Polished packed ice. That's kind of cool. That gives us andesite. Alright, well, let's start with this. Uh, we need... What did we need? First, we need to put this... with that to get us a zinc machine. Now we need a piston. So I need two... Three, four, three, that, and some iron. Uh, yeah, I have plenty of iron there. Do I have an ingot mold? Yep. Okay. Just that. There's the igneous extruder. Okay, so we're gonna throw this over here. Ice I can get in uh, the various ways, but it looks like getting a blast chiller might be the easiest way. Oh, you don't require any power. Ah! I gotta come over here, grab soul soil. That's what I have to do. Now comes my next question. Does it use up the soul soil or is it just sitting there? Because if it uses up the soul soil, we're gonna have problems. Put the soul soil down. How do I get lava in there? My, am, am I thinking this the totally wrong way? Uh, you need. Oh wait, I remember what. Wait, 
That doesn't make much sense. Right? No, it is. Yep. Okay. Block beneath may also produce effect. All right. It is exactly what I thought. So instead of doing that there, I guess we'll have to kind of sort of set up a little um, Oh no, that's fine. Eh, there. Okay, uh, put that there. Put that there. Put you down, because I need... Where's my bucket? Put you there and grab my bucket and put you there. Let's see what happens. Oh, sweet. It's not using up the blue ice at all. I thought it would. That's, um... Are you freaking kidding me? I could do this... What are the recipes? Okay, there's no way I can do it for uh, andesite because I can't get bedrock up here. Uh, not without rotary craft, which I refuse to use until Rika decides to play nice with other mod uh, developers. Rika? I think that was his name. Uh, okay. So pretty much the basalt is what we need. Look at that. That wasn't too awful bad. One, two, three, four. Let's go put these back so that I can not have all of these. I only need one. Not 20. Just one. Uno. So we'll put you guys back there. And we'll go one, two, three. Three. And I have an extra smooth stone now. Because I'm not going to move that. That's pretty much where it needs to be forever. Maybe. We'll we'll think about it. I'm surprised it doesn't use up anything. That seems a little OP, especially for a thermal series machine. That seems a little overpowered. And... Yep, there we go. Okay, so now we have... Well, we know that it's going to be two, right? So what I need to do now is actually start positioning things. So I know for a fact that one of these is going to be in the third slot. What I'm going to do is put two basalt there and put two granite there. And this is where we might actually want to get the uh, glowstone or the redstone stuff. So the redstone accelerator, um, <clears throat> if one of the correct reagents is in an incorrect slot, it will not be consumed. And the other one is kind of the reverse of that. It's if it is in the correct slot, the correct slots will not be consumed. I like this one better, but it does require lumium. And that does require a little bit of work to get. So if we look at this, I need energized glowstone, copper, and silver. Energized glowstone is as simple as uh, throwing glowstone in a magma crucible. Um, and then pulling it out. So that's actually fairly straightforward and easy to do. We could just empty this of glass and throw some glowstone dust in there and get our energized glowstone. The only issue I have is um, blending it in the, the, uh, the uh, foundry or, well, the smeltery. Uh, I still have an issue. I'm still having issues getting stuff in here easily, uh, liquids in particular, because it's slightly different than it used to be. But if we look and take a look and see, uh, let me see here. Fractional still 
will take it and turn it into an ingot for me. Uh, fractionating still, and that requires an invar machine, an invar and copper, and don't we have one of these? That that whole recipe looks like something that we already have. Fluid encapsular, reagent extractor, and magma crucible, induction smelter. Was it upstairs? Did I put it upstairs? Was it the one that I put up there? That whole recipe looks like something that we've already done. The copper gears, the invar machine, yada yada yada. It looks like something I've already made. So I gotta just, I gotta check. I don't want to have to make a new one if I haven't. So this is what happens when you don't use a machine constantly. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Hey, hey buddy. So, what we can do instead of messing around with all sorts of stuff is grab all the glowstone dust. And how much glowstone dust is it? Ooh, what's an alchemical imbuer? Oh! Okay, that's fine. Uh, 250, so four for a bucket. All right. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of running back and forth here because I'm not making another magma crucible if I can help it. Uh, I don't feel like I need to. Maybe I should, though. What was the recipe for that? Oh, it takes the invar. It's fairly expensive. So what I'd like to do is just uh, get rid of this. Let's see if this works. Yeah, that's what I thought. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That'll give me three buckets worth. Um, I have more glass than I'll ever know what to do with, so I'm not worried about that. Oh, that is slow. Oh, that is so slow. Uh, that's very, very, very slow. Well, it's a good time to check and see about speeding this thing up. So let me see here. Uh, that's for power, tank, item, knowledge, modular. Increases process speed but reduces RF efficiency. It requires 100% extra power but it only increases the Increases process speed. Increases RF efficiency, but reduces process speed. <laughs> Keep away from small children and pets. Oh, I love it. I love how glowstone is... It, they put it in reverse that is hilarious to me i love that um because the you know this energized glowstone floats apparently uh generation rate okay i think it's i think it's this one the flux linkage amplifier i'm not actually sure Augmentations. Uh, it requires Constantine anyway, so... Alright, well, let's get one done so that we can just try this, because uh, we're not going to be able to sit here and wait uh, for all of them. But what we can do is throw in just what we have here. Granite, granite, basalt, basalt. Throw in the last one. Um and see what happens. Actually, we, we get nuggets from this, don't we? So it's actually not that bad. It just takes forever. All right. Then we have to go through and do all the rest of them. So let's just take a peek. Uh, 
this is going to be interesting because these are all dies, so I have to get dies. That's going to be fun, uh, but not that big a deal. This one I'm a little nervous about. Okay, that's not that bad. It's just blaze powder. I thought they actually wanted me to get blazing blood to do that, uh, but everything else looks pretty easy. Sulfuric... I mean, these look fairly straightforward to get. Okay, what's this silver reagent? Do I need silver reagent for something in particular? It just is silver reagent. I, I don't use it for anything. I can get silver dust to create silver ingots. That's about it. So interesting. Very interesting. All right, let's take a look. How much we got? Okay. That's enough. Let's come over here and get this thing going. I'd like to get one of these. One of these. I'd like to get shut that door. I'd like to get the igneous line done. Alright, so I just shove it in there and it just processes. Processes really fast, too. Boom! Lumion, lumium ignit, which I can then turn into nuggets, which then I use in the fluid encapsulator, and that'll give me nine uses. Perfect. That should be more than enough. But I will need to... Shoot, I should have only put four in, or taken enough out. So now I'm going to have to wait for four more to... Okay. Yeah. That's fine. Um, uh, I just don't want to make another one. All right, we have our smelter there. So this is making all sorts of, that's okay. What else can I make? I mean, everything else I don't need. It was really just the basalt. Everything else I get from my, um, I can get from my my friend downstairs, you know? Uh, so I don't really need that. Why don't we come over here? And while we're waiting for that to process, what we can do is, well, first of all, let's throw this stone in here. We don't need that anymore. Um... I really would like to make another mystery pack. Uh, it takes a lot of emerald, a lot of iron, two phantom, and two diamond. Do I have enough emerald even to do that? I, I don't know. Oh yeah. Okay, so we're going to do... One, two. I need two diamond. Two membrane. What else do I need? Any buddy card set. Uh, two blocks of iron. And I have buddy cards in here somewhere. Uh, I'm just... I, I really would like to have this stuff uh, powered up. So it's 48% and it is just as good as my traveler's boots, which is not that great. Uh, but hopefully, once I get that fully powered, it'll be like super... Uh, once I get that fully powered, then it's just a matter of getting it to the perfect, I think it's called, perfect buddy steel. Yeah. And then that will be, like, really super powerful. Hey! What what do we got going on here? Hi! How you doing? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. We'll grab that in an actual bucket. So I'm not worried about that in there. 
because now what I need to do is melt some more glass. My door shut? My door shut. Hey, buddy. Hi. How you doing? Yeah. Hi. You're not allowed in. And now I can go ahead and put um, these in there and get this accelerator. I'm going to go ahead. I don't know that this is used for anything else. I actually don't think it is used for anything else. I don't even know what the lumium. Okay, so I can make powered lumium rails. I can make lumium gears, blocks of lumium. Uh, special glass, what is the gears used for? Okay, the phytogenic isolator, which would probably be good to have for plant growth. Not really worried about it. Alright, so it's two basalt and two granite, right? And it didn't fire off. <coughs> Okay, um, I did put two basalt and two granite, right? Oops. Uh, la 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 Let me like to look at this again. One of the correct reagents in correct slots will not be consumed. Is that telling me that it is going to be granite, basalt, granite, basalt? Or basalt, granite, granite, basalt? I need some granite. Do I have more granite in my inventory or not? What just stopped me? Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. I think my, uh... No, it can't be. Alright, we're good. Really should switch back to a wired keyboard, but I just hate wires everywhere. Uh, basically, I just I can't stand it. Alright, let's, uh... Let's grab a healthy sum. You're right outside my door, dude. Like... And then you died. And you picked up an egg that I don't care about because it's a woodpecker egg and I have so many of those. Nope, leave me more agalasa. Like this? Because I did basalt, basalt, granite, granite. Yeah, I did basalt, basalt, granite, granite. So let's try this. Basalt and two granites in the center. Let's see what happens. Hey! We found it! Two granites in the center. Okay, so we need to remember that. So the igneous solution is... Basalt, uh, basalt, granite, granite. Ugh, get rid of the damn spaces because there's just not enough room. Basalt. And now we can get rid of all of this. And there's our solution. So now we know how to make the igneous. Um, we can either make more, which we're going to need to, or we can just get rid of everything. Uh, what I could, can I, 
can I get... No, I have to... Might as well, it'll get us some glowstone. Perfect. That was fun. That was, that was fun. That... Two redstone, which means they're in the wrong spot. Two... Oh, no, 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 that was the old one. Yeah, okay, yeah, that was the one that we did not get correct. Um, perfect. So what I can do now is I need, how much of this do I need, really? I don't actually know. Like, obtained by finding the correct combination of four igneous reagents with the alchemical laser. Well, the f obtained by finding the correct combination of four catalysts, so I do need a bunch of igneous, so I might as well like, um, uh, make a bunch of granite and a bunch of igneous. Oopsies. And one, two, three, four, five. Let me see. One, two. That should be fine. Yes, I should just automate the fluid into that. I know. I'm lazy, though. And automating this would be nice, but I'm not actually 100% sure I can do that. Let me rephrase that. I can't do that. I know other people can. Me? Probably not. <laughs> Pachoo! 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 I might throw that granite back into... And two more, one more, yeah. That'll give me a good healthy supply. And there we go. I'll throw that in there too, just because. So that gives me f five of those to play around with. That wasn't that bad, to be honest. I thought it was going to be a lot worse than that. I thought I was going to be spending hours and hours and hours trying to figure that out. Uh, no, it only took me 40 minutes, roughly. So that one's done. Now we need to go and I got lead because I found lead in a chest. Now I need to go do the next one. So next one is flower power, right? Uh, so we need like a ton of these. So uh, fuchsia is... Uh, and it is flowers, right? I can't do like wools, orange, tulip, burning blossom, pumpkin. I can use pumpkin to get orange. That's cool. So knowing that, well, we have a... Oh, I haven't filled this back in yet. Hmm. I need to do that. I need to remember to do that. That's turned off because I have too much over there. Let's just start. Let's just get this going. All right. Pow. Crimson. Pow. Crimson. <laughs> uh, I guess I should probably consider going... I need to get the double talls. That's what I really should do, is get the double tall flowers, because then I can just bone meal the heck out of them and get all sorts of goodies. Now, I'm pretty sure I have some double talls over here. Yeah, so there's some I la la. And I thought I brought a double tall rose bush back, too. Can I bone meal sunflower and get the order? Because it is considered a double tall. Gonna find out. We are going to find 
out. Well, let's see here. Use. Let's see, it doesn't say anything about it here. Also, let's put this stuff away. Uh, the ash, I don't know what I'm actually going to do with. Uh, whoa, whoa. Let's see. Yes. Yes! That pretty much guarantees me purple and yellow. So I just have to go and find some more double dolls. And I could have swore I brought a red with me. I don't see it anywhere. Why are you stuck? Oh, you're not stuck. You are, but you're not. That's okay. I don't need you to work that much. Alright, so for my sake, we're going to put the lilac here and the sunflower there, and we're just going to say bone meal, bone meal, bone meal, bone meal, bone meal. Get a bunch of these guys. And there's a bunch of goldenrod reagent and fuchsia. Yeah, this is going super fast now. Uh, we need one more to play with. I wonder if kelp would work as a green. Nope. But I know what will! And we have a ton of it! And it grows back! My cactus! Then we can do one of these and see what we get. I don't know if I should do what I did before or if I should try and actually do this the not so dumb way. <laughs> no, I think doing four at a time each so that I, I can eliminate um, the possibility of them is probably the best way of doing this. So I do four olive, and I'm not going to call it, I'm just going to call it green. Um, so what, wait, what category is this considered? Uh, herbal? And we have pink, red, orange, yellow, green, and blue. So I am going to now come down here and say herbal, and I'm going to say 4x green, and see what that gets me. It's exciting! Okay, redstone means correct and incorrect. Yeah, yellow, uh. All right, so it's at least one green, right? At least one green. That's perfect. So if I come in here, I say three ash, one glow. So we know at least one. All right, uh, I need lots of bone meal. Hopefully I have some over here built up. Oh yeah, look at that, yeah. Everything turned off? Yeah, everything turned off. That's okay. I mean, it's not okay. I need stuff on so I can activate the laser, but still. It's mostly okay. God, I know I brought a red over here. Where, where could it have gone? Did I not plant it? Did I just put it somewhere? That's actually a possibility. Knowing me, I put it in a box and forgot about it. Heft! <laughs> Look at that, right there. Uh, yep, I put it in a box and forgot about it. Very promptly. So put you there and go. Get four of you. 
Oh, we need more glass. This is this is actually kind of cool. Uh, I was not happy because I thought it was like alchemy, and alchemy to me is you know magic. Uh, you need some power. I ran out of all of that. I ran out of one million RF that fast, huh? A million RF. I mean, it does take a thousand RF for each tick of process. No, it's 80 RF. Um... What's using all your juice, dude? Like, there's absolutely nothing here that should be using any juice. Alrighty. Okay, so now we can come in here and we can say for pink fuchsia. It's pink. Purple. Purple pink. Patow! <laughs> and then come over here and throw that up. That up there. So exciting. What do we get? What do we got? Oh, ooh, 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 oh, that limits it quite a bit. So, 4x feet pink is uh, 2 ash and 2 glow. So, I know for fact that two of them is fuchsia and one of them is uh, green, whatever green was called again. Interesting. So, I just have to find out what the last component is, and uh, we're already there. Hopefully it's not blue. It's going to be blue, because blue is the one I don't have any of. But hopefully it's not blue. Okay, this is all red. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Come on, one glowstone. Come on, one glowstone. Come on, one glow. Aw. All right. Uh, yellow. One, two, three, four. Pew pew. All right, so no red or let's see what we get. 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 Come on. Oh. So it's definitely a blue. Oh, it could be an orange though. We don't we didn't do any orange. Um orange, 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 orange. Do I have any pumpkins at all? You know something. I don't think I do. And that sucks because I rest up way up north in my exploration trip. I ran through a pumpkin patch. <gasps> no, that's it. I thought it might have been a Oh, here we go. One, two, three, please four. Yes. Okay. That's all I really need um, <clears throat> to check. If if I need more, I'll go and grow pumpkins because I'm fairly confident I have pumpkin seeds somewhere. Oh, there's a pumpkin up top so I can make more pumpkins. I see it. It's up there somewhere. Uh, but we're going to do this real quick. I want to try and at least get the appropriate... Uh... Darn it! I want to at least try and get the um, right... Not the right combination, but the right ones I need 
uh, before we end the episode. Because we are at the end of the episode. So That's so funny when I see it flash up in there. Uh, that's the other reason I put these doors on. Is so I could watch the whole thing just glow up. Uh, so this is all orange. Uh, we did yellow, so no yellow. Orange. Orange, you glad. One glowstone, that's all I need. Yes! So it's, um... So the solution... I can't go any further. Alright, um... Uh, solution is one green, two pink, one orange. Order unknown, okay, because we don't know the order yet. We just know that it's some combination of those because we did all of them one, two, three, four in a row. Uh, awesome. Perfect. Next episode, we'll continue this trend. Maybe we'll get through two of them next time. Now that we know what we're doing and we have a system in place, uh, maybe we'll do. I think what I'll try and do is I will try and pipe out the uh, fluid, the molten glass, so I don't have to keep filling it. Um, even though I don't want to. <laughs> Because it's just more work. But it's more work not doing it than it is doing it. We're going to open this mystery pack in a second. Uh, the thing I don't remember is can I push fluids out? I don't think I can. I think it's... I think I'm going to have to pump the fluid out using create. But that's okay. If I put them right next to one another, it's not as big a deal. But I don't need to put them right next to one another. They're, I can just uh, put them... Uh, where they are and then run the pipe over. I'm going to have to run power over to them, but that's not a big deal either. Stress units over to them. Let's open up. Let's go over to our house. Uh, and open up. Oh, I'm also going to need to... Will carrots work? Will carrots work? No. That's a shame. I'm going to, uh, before we do anything, say I'm going to, but let's do it. Let's do it now. There's a pumpkin up there. I want that pumpkin. And I want to grow that pumpkin. And I want to grow a bunch of pumpkins. And this is where the phytogenic isolator would be very useful, because then I could just grow pumpkins using it. But, for now, I'm just going to grow pumpkin normally. And you know what? I have over here a uh, garden all just waiting for something to grow in it. Once I get the... Uh-oh. 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 Oh, it doesn't go. That's owie. That's a shame. Uh, yeah, water. Uh, I should have kept going over this way. Yeah, I, I think it was just my chunk unloaded because this is like right in the middle of a chunk. I think. Maybe not. I don't know. I think the chunk unloaded uh, because that has not. Ever since that first time. It has not uh, drawn up the infinite water source. There we go. That was weird. Then we'll just grab this and just do... I don't know. We don't need very many. Grab the pumpkin. There. And heck, we can actually help these along, can't we? There. 
they'll they'll put out a pumpkin sooner or later. Anyway, guys, that's all that we have time for, except for this mystery pack, which we're going to open together over here and see what we get. And I might be ready to actually make another uh, binder, but we're going to see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's get, get all this up in here and... Ooh, what do we got? Ooh, we got inset stuff! Awesome! Look at that! Perfect! We got another nether. We got some... Big bug, bug, big bug, uh, and then some base set stuff. Uh, we'll have to check to see if we have. Okay, let me see. All right, so even though this is not meant to do what this, the Ender Buddy Binder is supposed to be, so that I can just have an Ender Buddy card binder here and there, and it'll never be destroyed. I'm gonna use them straight up for this. 9 and 12. And you actually can go down there. Look at that. We got some ender stuff. Do I have enough dupes? I don't have any dupes in my my uh, nether one. And I don't have any dupes in the bug one. So, that means I'm going to have to continue making those those decks so that I can get more of these. Because I'm going to tell you something. I have tried to get nether cards. Not happening. I have tried to find enderlings. Not happening. Um, easily. Like I said, I might boost the spawn rate of them on the overworld. Or maybe in the nether because they, you know... Normal Endermen spawn in the, not the Crimson Zone, but the other one constantly. But I've only ever seen one Enderling. And I kind of find that for, for something that's supposed to be like, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's because it is endgame content and I'm supposed to go to the end to find them. But anyway, uh, that's what... Okie dokie. That's all the time we have for today. I hope you enjoyed that episode. If you did, like down below is appreciated. Hit the bell icon, the sub button, all that fun jazz. And this is Warf saying stay safe and see you next time. Check you later.